Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel, Deals and More with Mommy of Four. So today I have for you um, quite a big Dollar Tree haul and some new items. So if you want to see those, be sure to stay till the end of the video um, and we'll get started. So definitely some items that I'm really excited about and some items that I haven't ever seen there before. Um, I did get a couple food items just I was out of bagels, out of bread, um, and I'm going to be trying to start my Dr. Phil uh, diet again. I did it a couple years ago, um, so I got my rye bread for that. But we were just about out of regular bread, um, so I always like to look at the dollar tree when I go. I was going there to get my newspapers anyway. So I went ahead and I picked up the Sara Lee butter bread right here for the rest of the, my family. Um, you know, it's Sunday, so they're going to need this for the rest of the week for lunches or breakfast or whatever. So I grabbed that. Only a dollar. Can't beat it. So this is my rye bread and I actually got two of them because this bread can kind of be expensive, sometimes nearly like $3. Um, so it is the beef steak, the no seeds, soft rye bread right here. So I grabbed two of these for myself and I could freeze one in the time being if I needed to. So I also, I usually just get my bagels at um, Aldi, and I think they're usually like a dollar, I'm not even sure, a dollar seventy or something like that. So I, which I like the ones from Aldi, but these were nice and big. It's the Thomas bagel, so I got plain and I got um, one of the blueberries, so... For a dollar, again, you can't beat it. So they looked like they had just recently stocked that bread uh, cart if your store has that. And I always try and look and see what they have. They did have like some hamburger buns and hot dog buns. I just didn't need any of that today. So, and then I was very excited to see these because um, recently we just took the kids earlier in the week to the pumpkin patch and we got some of the apple cider donuts, but they didn't have any pumpkin spice and I really wanted to grab some. So this is the Entenmann's uh, pumpkin donuts. So it's not pumpkin spice, but pumpkin donuts and you get eight of them in there and it was only a dollar. So I went ahead and picked one of these up. They did also have the apple cider ones as well, but like I said, we just got some at the pumpkin patch. So I grabbed these, great for the kids, um, as a quick breakfast in the morning before school. <clears throat> All right, so these next ones, they did have them last year, except I did not see the Santa this year. Um, so I thought these would be a great teacher's gift. I do have some other things that I got, you know, from different sales, either at the end of last year or whatever, but these these. <laughs> These are going to be really great to give um, to my kids as teachers for Christmas. So this is going to go in their Christmas gifts. Um, and my four-year-old for preschool, she has two teachers uh, that's in the classroom. So I had to get um, four of them then. So these are really cute. They are metal. Okay. Um, I'll tell you the different ones that they had that I didn't get, but it wasn't the stand-up ones like this, okay? So these are metal, all right? It is a candle holder. You could put a votive back there. Um, I probably would just put a tea light, but this is what it looks like, this really cute Christmas tree. It just stands like this. And then in the back here, you can put, like I said, a tea light or a votive in here so they'll also be getting some tea lights with this as well in their Christmas gift so they had the Christmas tree they had this really cute um, kind of vintage looking snowman uh, 
the gingerbread man or woman. So. And you might have to like bend them a little bit to actually sit up straight. So they're not falling over if it doesn't have a candle back here to weigh it down. And then the last one that, that I grabbed was this snowflake. It is blue and white and it has like this iridescent sparkle on it and it says Noel in the center. I thought that was really cute. And I don't know if you can see, but it does have like a dusting of glitter over that. It's super pretty. And then same thing on the back. So, but I could have swore last year um, they had the Santa, but I did not see that. So the other ones that they did have, like I said, they don't stand up like this. Um, but they were poinsettias. So there was green and red and it just kind of sat like this. And then the candle holder was in the center of it. So those were cute too. I just, I didn't get those. So <clears throat> I really liked these ones. Um, something new because whenever I, whenever we go to Sam's, they, we like the Starbucks, uh, glass cold coffee is the Frappuccinos and I like the mocha, but my husband likes the vanilla. So, but they're always out of the big thing of the vanilla and it's just so expensive to get them and just like the four pack or even singles. Um, so anyway, but <sighs> I tried this because he's been out of his coffees for quite a while because they just never have the vanilla. But it's an iced latte chilled coffee drink. Uh, Victor Allen's Coffee is the brand of it here. So I just got one for him to try it and we'll see if he likes it. Um, he'll probably take it to work tonight. So we'll see. I don't know. He's kind of picky. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna save the glass stuff till the end. So, one thing I um, I needed a new little calculator just to keep in my purse or um, by my work area. I'm just so tired of always having to use my phone calculator. So, I just got this something really quick, um, just this little one here. So, hopefully, it works well because those big ones. They just, the buttons are just not good, in my opinion, anyway. So, I don't know if any of you have kids, grandkids, nieces, or nephews, or maybe you are a teacher and you just know from kids in your class, but my kids love the blind bags, and what the blind bags are, are just these little bags here, and um, different you know, shows or movies, characters, and you just, you don't know what you're going to get in here. So it's kind of that blind bag, like that surpriseness, surprise bag, I guess you could call it. Um, but this is the Trolls and it is series seven. It says you can collect all 12. So if you're going to get a blind bag from Walmart, you're going to pay probably at least $2 and 88 cents. So whenever I can find them, at the Dollar Tree, I go ahead and pick them up. So I just grabbed three here, one for each of my daughters, and they do have some picking up in their rooms to do, so if they finish that, then I may give them these. Otherwise, it'll go in our prize bag um, for their report cards. We pull sticks in each stick for each good grade. That's what, how many they get to pull and each stick will say something different on there. And we do have a prize bag where they can't look in there. So if it says they get an item from the prize bag, they just reach in the bag and pick something out. And that is what you get. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. So <laughs> that's what we tell them. Anyway, so I grabbed these only for a dollar. I need some more kitchen towels. Um, so I grabbed this really cute kind of fall one here and it just says thankful, blessed, leaves, harvest, autumn, family, feeling blessed together. So super cute. It has leaves and pumpkins on there and some pine cones. So I grabbed that kitchen towel. I have some, um, we have in our lower level, we have, uh, lights coming from the ceiling and I'm hoping that this works because I have two that are out, 
but I don't know anything about what certain ones need. So many lights in our house are different. Like either it's a three way or it has to be this voltage or, you know, it has to be flat. I don't know, you know? So anyway, I grabbed this and I'm hoping that it works. I know it's a flatter one, but I'm hoping it does. We'll see. Because two lights down there, I am just, no, not working for me. But anyway, so I grabbed one of those. And then I grabbed one of these for each of our um, bathroom toilets. It is the blue and bleach uh, tablet here. So I grabbed one for each one. You put it in the back of the tank and I don't know how long it lasts. Mm. Doesn't say. It just says fresh clean scent, blue and bleach in every flush. So it does not say how long it is going to last. So we'll see, but I picked those two of those up. I grabbed a new package of pens. I always like the um, black ink. There were really cute ones and they were like lime green and purple and pink, but they actually wrote in those colors and I, I just didn't want that. So I picked up these pens here. It is um, the ink pens the ballpoint, and they have these really nice um, grips on there. So always can use some more pens because they're always disappearing in my house. So plus my husband takes them to work and has them in his pocket and stuff. Yeah. We're going to be doing our carving and painting of pumpkins today. So I just grabbed this disposable uh, table cover, this fall one here. So I'm going to put that down before like the newspapers and that so we can just pick everything up in one and chuck it into the garbage bag so easy cleanup i like so i just picked one of those up and this was by the christmas items in the front where they're getting their new glassware and chargers and um like uh, dishes and stuff like that. So I picked this charger up right here. Now they did have your classic reds, uh, greens, silvers, and golds, but this one is like a wood look and kind of, kind of has the grains on here as if it was like uh, wood. I don't know if you can see that, but I picked one of these up because I have like an entry table and I like to decorate it for each season. So I'm probably going to put either a candle on here or I might put some leaves and I don't know, a jar with some candy in it or something like that for fall. And then I can always change it out for um, Christmas as well. You can make this work and, um, you know, for, even for those seasons too, even though it's not like the traditional color. So I picked one of those up, was very happy and it kind of has some weight to it. I wasn't expecting it to be, um, this heavy. Yeah. Do not put in the microwave. Do not put in the dishwasher for decorative use only. So anyway, <clears throat> all right. This is a quite a big haul, um, but I figured I hadn't done one in a while and I was going there for my newspapers anyway. So my son is now 10 months old. He is, he's still my baby, but he's not that itty bitty baby anymore. Um, he's just getting over being sick. Still has a little bit of a cough. He's been very needy. Um, but that's just a little update on him. But he's getting bigger, so he's, you know, getting to have, like, his puff snacks and his mum -ums and the little pinwheels and the little yogurt bites and stuff like that. So, um, he really only has, like, one actual bowl for his food. So I grabbed these. I thought it would be perfect to put in the diaper bag or just bring on the go. So it's just these little containers right here with these lock lids, and one is... 
I think it's Chase from Paw Patrol and then um, the PJ Mask characters here. So I picked those two up just to put some snacks in there for him and we can keep it in the diaper bag or just, you know, whatever in the car. So it's really easy and convenient. Just take out at a, a restaurant and, you know, open it up and give it to him. So I picked those up. I also picked this container up here uh, for my husband for work and I'm hoping that it fits in his lunch bag but it's just this three um, three divided thing here usually uh, like his um, what <laughs> main thing will go here and his sides will go here and it has the locking lid so picked up one of those and then I don't let my kids have fruit snacks or sticky things very often, but once in a while I will let them have a little treat. It, I really don't like fruit snacks. It's very, you know, very sticks in the teeth, but they know that they have to brush their teeth right as soon as they are done. So, um, but these are the Betty Crocker 10 pouches and I grabbed it in the Disney, the frozen one here. And it has Anna and Elsa on the back and Olaf on the front. A dollar for these I thought was a really good price, so I picked one up for them. And then I also grabbed these swirl sticks. It's the Philly Swirl. And you get six in here, but for a dollar I didn't think it was bad. Um, I know at Walmart they're like... Maybe two fifty or two eighty. I can't even remember, and I don't know how many you get in there at Walmart. But my daughter was with me, and she was begging me, begging me throughout the entire store for something. So I told her she could pick this one thing in the ice cream section, but she had to share it with her sisters. So they'll each get two. So it's a nice little treat for them too. All right, I think we are going on to our glass items. <coughs> now, two of these items I saw the other day, and I didn't pick them up, and I was regretting it, and then I went back today, and there was just two left, so I picked them both up. So, it's this orange glass here, and I guess you could say it kind of looks like a pumpkin, but it has this twist on... <coughs> metal lid up here <coughs> excuse me I keep getting a tickle in my throat so it's a nice size jar and you could just use it for decorating purposes you could put some candy corn or some other mints or something in here you know I mean sky's the limit you could make it a nice little gift you could put a ribbon around the top part and fill this with something there's just a ton of things that you can do with this. So I picked up two of these, actually. I don't know where the other one is. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So anyway, I grabbed two of those. And luckily, they still had them. And these next one items here, I was so happy to find these. I've never seen these at the dollar store. They were such big glasses and decorative glasses at that. They did also have clear um, that I had picked up first, but then I went around to the other side. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a drink of my cup. Sorry, I keep getting this tickle in my throat. So, let me fix the bow here. The red ones, the bows on the red ones were not very good, but it is this red, nice really big glass jar here and you can see kind of through it a little bit but you get this cute silver bow up top and again there's a lot of things that you can do put a candle in here um put some peppermint sticks in here give it as a gift with some stuff in here there's just so many things that you can do Somebody was walking past my house. I thought they were going to be like coming up to the door or something. Like I can't answer you. I'm doing a video. <laughs> All 
All right, so I grabbed this, and again, I mean, it it's like the whole size of my hand. It kind of goes off my hand even some, so it's really cute. I picked this up, <clears throat> and like I said, they did have the clear, but I just didn't get that one. Okay, I mean, you could get the clear and put like some red and green M&Ms in there or something like that. It just doesn't have a lid, so. And then I picked up this green one here. Again. There's the silver bow. And then the last one that I picked up was this blue one, which I thought was really pretty with the silver. <clears throat> and it is more colorful in person. I It probably is showing up like very see-through on here. So, but... I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with these. Um, I mean, you really could. Oh boy. I don't know. I mean, you could get, you could put them, even leave them just all three like this. And that's pretty together. You could get um, one of the chargers, set them on there. You can raise them up with different things you know, prop something up underneath it, like on an entry table or something like that. Or even if you have one of those like rectangle wooden tray things and you could just sit these all in there, just like those people do with the milk little jug things or the mason jars. But anyway, that is everything that I got today. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I hope I showed you some new items that maybe you haven't seen yet that you can look out for. Or let me know, have you seen some of these same items in your store or have they just not gotten them out yet? Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, your love and support means the world to me. And you guys are what keeps me going. And every time, every day I see the numbers going up um, for the subscribers. And that to me, you guys are just part of my YouTube family. I don't view you as subscribers or anything like that. So that's why I always say don't forget to like, um, share it with a family or friend. Subscribe if you haven't. I'd love to have you here as part of our YouTube family. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my deals or haul videos or even the giveaways. And we will be doing one soon once we hit 500. I have not thought of what is going to be um, the giveaway for that yet. So that will be coming soon. And uh, I am hoping to be on the ball and get to CVS today. <clears throat> I apologize for last week. I did not get any CVS shopping. Like I said, my son has been really sick. He almost had, basically he had a uh, croup and it was just really bad. So I constantly had to be with him and uh, just holding him all the time, comforting him, even having him sleep on me, you know, sitting up is just for his breathing. So Thank you guys so much for being understanding, and I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday and a great start to your week next week. So, bye guys. Have a great day.